You're <laughs> You're at home. I'm at home. How can we work out? I have an idea. How about we use this for a workout? Who's up for it? <laughs> Welcome everybody. My name is Leo and this is Definite Fitness on Demand. Today we're going to be working out at home using this to train the legs. So if you have these at home, go ahead and grab them. Make sure you can put on some water on it. You can go as heavy as you want. And since it's gonna be tricky on this handle, so I need you to grab a cloth or anything that can support your fingers when you grab onto it. Okay, so let's get started guys. Okay, so for today we're going to be focusing on the legs. Lots of leg work, a bit of balance as well. Five exercises in total, and we're just going to do that for two rounds. So, 10 minutes, and then we're done. Cool, let's go. So, first exercise, hold on to it. You're going to do one squat and one shoulder. Yeah, so just push your butt back and just bring your hands right about shoulder shoulder height and depending on how much water you put in this can go lighter or this can go heavier as well 20 seconds make sure when you squat you don't push your knees forward, you push your hip back. And that's Lexi taking care of my timer. She's 10 seconds left. Three, two, one. Second move, we're gonna swing this down and then forward. Just like kettle big. I mean kettle swings. Kettlebell swings. What am I saying? Kettlebell swings, if you are familiar with that. So how do we call this move then? Water bottle swing. And then squeeze your butts on the way up. Squeeze your butts, also squeeze your abs so your lower back is protected. Whew. Keeping your chest up. We have about 15 seconds, according to Lexi. Three, two, one, third move. Start with your feet together on one side, and just gonna step side to side. And all you gotta do is swing that water bottle as you step out to the corner. Small rotation on your chest and your shoulders and stay low as you step up. Yeah, bend your knees. Try to stay low. Try to stay low as you move side to side. Twenty seconds. Your abs are braced here. You don't feel the back. Swing those arms to get a bit of arm work as well. Three, two, one. Okay, stop. Fourth and fifth move, we're gonna do a little bit of balance work. Grab it with your right hand first, and then take your right knee up. I'm gonna show it to you side view, guys. So right hand, right leg. You're gonna tip over, hinge from the hip, and just let that water bottle hang forward a bit, and then come up and lift that knee forward. Yeah, so tip, chest forward a bit, and then come back up. You can either extend the back leg if you can, or keep it soft and bent so you can balance even 
more. Eyes looking down to the floor here. We're about to change, hang on. Three, two, one. Okay, quick change, other side. Left hand, left leg. Find a stable standing position first, and then you start. When you tip forward, think about squeezing your butt as you lift the leg up, and then stand tall. There. It's a good balance work. Also, it's a good glute work if you squeeze your butt. Nice and stable. You have about 10 seconds. And then we're gonna do everything from the start. Three, two, one, and release. We go back to the first move, the squat and the shoulder. So everything from the top. So if you wanna speed up, yeah, get, a, get that intensity up. Do that. You can even do this. Pulse, shoulders, while you stay in your squat position. Chest lifts. So you're working isometrically on the legs and also on your shoulders. Anytime you wanna go back to that singles down and up, you can do that as well. It's up to you, or go back here on your pulses. See what suits your fitness level. In 10 seconds, we're gonna go back to the one minute timer. Okay, swings. So you go down and swing forward. Whoa, smashing my door at the back. <laughs> I guess everybody's smashing their homes on their home fitness workout. 30 seconds more. Sink down to the heels, guys, and squeeze to the butts. His leg workout, but also you're gonna get some cardio as your heart rate goes up. Five seconds, two. Let's move on, this side to side. If you have a space, Go ahead and step wider and stay low. Still work on your legs. Just let the hands swing naturally and squeeze your abs as you swing those hands out. Halfway for this move. Go ahead and swing get a little bit of upper body work as well. You can even have a little hop or jump if you can to add on a little bit more intensity. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Okay, single leg balance. Right hand, right leg. Start when you're ready. Tipping forward and up. So really squeeze that butt as you lift your leg up. And stand tall. Yeah, it's all about the balance. It's not about the speed for this move. Just try to control as much as you can. You can even hold it for a little bit longer. 
And then what you can do is have a look here. You can pulse the back, back leg up and down. Yeah, without touching the water bottle down. If you need to hold on to something, do that or just simply go back on the original move down and up. And we change. How? Feel that on the butt. Start easy forward and back. Yeah, go ahead and extend the back leg for those who can. So you can always modify the moves. And it really depends on everyone's flexibility, strength, coordination. So if you're ready to do the single leg pulses on the back, do that now. Because you have about 10 seconds and then we're done. Abs are tight. Three, two, one, and we're done. I'm gonna use this to wipe my sweat. So there you go. Work out with a water bottle. And you can do so much more with anything that you have at home. So let us know in the comments if you have any other ideas or anything you wanna see on our videos. And we'll try to put something and come up with it. That's it. So see you on our next video, guys. Bye.